Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Gofa and you're going to go back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu and on this channel we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. You guys can hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, all these channels and our second youtube channel for the visual we've got a patreon called funny and jesse you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed so far to our channel thank you for subscribing thank you for liking thank you for just commenting talking to us thank you very much you guys are the best i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting to prophet muhammad mentioned in Parsi scriptures so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Let us discuss the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Parsi scriptures. Zoroaster was the founder of Zoroastrianism, also known as Parsiism. It originated in Persia about two and a half thousand years ago. It is also called as a religion of Meganism or a religion of fire worshippers. The sacred scriptures of the Parsis are the Dasatir and the Avesta. Avesta is also called as Zend Avesta. The Dasatir is further divided into Khurda Dasatir and Kalan Dasatir. The Avesta is also further divided into Khurda Avesta and Kalan Avesta, also known as Zend and Mahazend. If you read these Parsi scriptures, in several places, Prophet Muhammad has been prophesied. It's mentioned in the Avesta in Farvadin Yasht, chapter number 28, verse number 129. It says that his name will be victorious. His name will be Astvet Areta. He will be called as Soshyant. It says that he will be called as victorious, as Soshyant. His name will be Astvet Areta. And we know Prophet Muhammad was victorious in Fateh Makkah and the word Soshyant according to Hastings Encyclopedia means a person who is praiseworthy which is the translation of the Arabic word Muhammad so Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is mentioned by name in the Parsi scripture it also says he will be Astavit Areta Astavit Areta means a person who praises which is the translation of the second name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that is Ahmad. Ahmad also means one who praises. Further it's prophesied in the Avesta in Zamyad Yasht chapter number 16 verse number 95 that his friends will come the friends of Astavit Areta who will be fighting against the evil they will be well thinking well speaking and well doing and their tongue will not utter a single falsehood this is talking about the sahaba and the name again is mentioned astavit areta which means one who praises that is ahman peace be upon him which is the other name of Muhammad. it talks about the sahabas that the companions of the prophet will be good people they'll be well thinking speaking good things They'll be doing good things and their tongue will never utter a falsehood. That means they will not tell a single lie. And we know from history that all the Sahabas, mashallah, they were truthful. Prophet Muhammad is also prophesied in the Dasatir, that is the other scripture of the Parsi. Dasatir means Das and Atir, means a book containing ten parts. It is also plural of Dastur. Dastur means a religious law. So it is a book containing ten parts, a religious law. It's mentioned in the Satir, when the Parsis will forsake the religion, when the Zoroastrians will forsake the religion, and they will become desolate, a man will arise from the desert. His followers will subjugate the Persians and will conquer the arrogant Persians. 
they will be a mercy to the humankind. They will not worship the fire in the temple, but will pray in the direction of the house of God, of Abraham, which will be free from idols. They will be the masters and rulers of Persia, thus Balk, and the other religious places of Persia, of the Parsis. And their prophet will be an eloquent person doing miraculous things. This prophecy also refers to no one but the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad It's further mentioned in the Bundai Hash, chapter number 30, verses 6 to 27, that the Soshant shall be the last prophet. Soshant, as I mentioned earlier, according to the history of the encyclopedia, means one who is praiseworthy, referring to Muhammad and it says in the prophecy, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be the last prophet. This was in brief regarding Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the Parsi scriptures. Let's discuss the prophecy of. I wish the video was longer, because I was really paying attention. What I want to ask is, is this what Dr. Zaki Naik is saying right now? Is it according to his translation or what? A certain group of Muslims believe these passages say in the same scriptures of the past scriptures because I'm thinking to myself if there's something about religion that I've noticed is that they all have certain things in common the books may not agree with each other but there'll always be something something somewhere that's common that's almost the exact same thing. Also, this same Parsism religion or whatever it's called, I wanted to find out, does it specifically actually mention the or use the term Muhammad? Or, like I said, it's according to Dr. Zaki Naik. Otherwise, I'm always in support for um, religions, that actually have things in common or when someone talks about different religions and they're talking about the common things that's really what i strive for but then i'm just trying to understand this video let me know what you guys think uh about this entire video what are your opinions or the answers to what i've asked would appreciate you guys responses make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.